Hey everyone, this is Luke, and this is uh, not an episode of Kyle and Luke Talk About Tunes. This is actually a, <laughs> a, a plug, an advertisement, uh, you could say, uh, for something really awesome that is happening this coming Saturday. Uh, today is Thursday when I'm recording this, so uh, I wanted to let you all know about it on the feed uh, so that you have a chance to join in on this thing uh, that is starting this Saturday morning. Um, at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, some of you may remember uh, a couple years ago, uh, during the summer of 2020, uh, I had a whole series of private uh, drawing lessons with uh, Rich Ahrens, who uh, was one of the main people behind uh, creating Tiny Toon Adventures and Animaniacs and Freakazoid, and he's been working in the industry for on a ton of shows for a very long time. He's a super legend, and I had a lot of amazing classes with him that really helped improve my art skills. Uh, in fact, if you want to watch a video of me and Kyle talking about uh, some of the things he taught me and seeing some of the images of the drawings that I did and he did, uh, go to my YouTube page and look up uh, episode number... 173. It says, Kyle Luke Talk About Tunes, episode 173, special video segment from two years ago, and you can check out all that. But uh, the thing that's happening now is that uh, Rich is offering a class. Uh, let me make sure I get the name right here. There it is. Um, and I'm going to play the I'm going to play the audio from uh, the YouTube ad because it'll explain it better than I am. But he is doing a class called The Art of the Short Cartoon. It is a six-week class, uh, and it is starting uh, this Saturday morning, uh, the 5th of November, and it'll happen every Saturday morning at the same time, 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Pacific, uh, every morning on Saturday uh, for six weeks starting on uh, November 5th. So it's him teaching all about storyboarding for short cartoons, which is amazing and incredible and, and, and a great opportunity. So I will now cut to the audio from the YouTube ad so that you can uh, uh, hear it straight from, uh, <laughs> from Rich's mouth. And uh, you can also get more details on it at richarons.com. That's R-I-C-H-A-R-O-N-S.com. So go there for all the details and to sign up and all that. Uh, but here is the ad. Thanks for listening, and we'll be back soon with more cartoony talk with me and Kyle. Hi, I'm Karen Stanley, and I'm here to talk with Rich Ahrens about his exciting new online storyboard course. Rich has been making cartoons for 44 years. He's animated, directed, written, produced hundreds of cartoons for studios like Warner Brothers, Disney, Steven Spielberg. You've worked on shows for Tiny Toons, Animaniacs, Freakazoid, Looney Tunes, SpongeBob, Scooby-Doo, He-Man, and I, I can't even read the rest of the list. You've won two Emmys and been honored with a P body award welcome rich thanks for that intro karen yeah in the last few years i've really enjoyed teaching people um, how to draw design and animate and many of my students have been asking me if i would start a storyboard class Share with us a little bit more about your idea for this class. Yeah, the idea was to recreate the fun and the exciting experience that I've had creating a cartoon story meeting. I call the class the art of the short cartoon. How is it going to distinguish itself from all the other schools that say they teach the craft of storyboard? In my experience, the thing that I really love about doing storyboards is the collaborative story meetings that we have, where we really hammer out the best best gags, and the best character business that we can. So how would the class begin? I would start out by bringing the class an outline and some story sketches just to get things rolling. This would consist of some fun character attitudes or some weird personality quirks, perhaps different contrasting character personality types. I tend to lean on the basic concept that conflict is our best friend. Okay, so they're going to be seeing this straight from a legend. So once you introduce this stuff and they get to play with some of your characters and build on them, where do you go from there? What happens next? Well, I introduce these sketches and these outlines in our Zoom group and let the class toss some ideas around involving this situation. They'll start doing some rough drawings with a template that I'll provide them. They can shoot the drawings back to me and we'll all we'll kick this thing around for a few sessions until we start building a whole story. So we'll come up with some new characters and and uh, before you know it, we'll have a nice rough continuity board. And this is the way cartoons were built for decades. The greatest cartoons were built this way. Does everyone work on the same story? Yeah. Once we have a good, solid story working, then we'll divide up the story amongst all the students. And then they can refine the art. So we'll have one cohesive piece of entertainment. 
So it sounds like a lot of collaborative effort. I don't know how it wouldn't be stimulating for the students. Yeah, it's going to be really fun and very interactive because they'll be writing it, they'll be drawing it, they'll be coming up with visual gags and written dialogue. It's really the height of what would happen in a good story situation, as opposed to where a storyboard artist just handed a script and they say, illustrate this thing. This is a top quality situation where storyboard artist is really valued. It doesn't happen all the time, but here we're treating the storyboard artist in the highest level of where a storyboard artist would be treated and respected. And this is the way we hope everyone should be treated. Um, and we're going to be treating them like a real studio. And uh, just like in a real studio, they're going to have to sign a release. Actually, even better than in a real studio, people are going to be able to take credit for the sections that they work on because we're going to video these sessions, put them on social media so that students will be able to tag themselves in a video and go to an executive, studio executive and say, hey, look, I worked on this section and here's proof. You can see me coming up with these ideas or drawings and point to what they've done and it'll help them in their careers. They can actually use this to say, hey, to a producer or to a director somewhere, you know, you can look online and see, hey, I actually did this this section here. Uh, so it's actually helpful in career moves as well. That's pretty amazing. I can see why you're incredibly excited about this. It sounds like it's one of a kind and a bit revolutionary really for your industry. And I think the art of the short cartoon is going to be fantastic. If I want to sign up first, how am I going to do that, Rich? We just click on one of the links below and we'll see you on the other side. Super Teen Extraordinaire, Freakazoid, Freakazoid, runs around in underwear, Freakazoid, Freakazoid, rescues Washington, D.C., Freakazoid, Freakazoid, unless something better's on TV, Freakazoid, Freakazoid, his brain's overloading, it has a chocolate coating, textbook case for Sigmund Freud, Freakazoid, Freakazoid, check out Dexter Douglas, nerd computer ace. Went surfing on the internet and was zapped to cyberspace. He turned into the Freakazoid, he's strong and super quick. He drives his villains crazy, cause he's a lunatic! His home base is the Freakalair, Freakazoid, Freakazine. Lloyd the barber cuts his hair, Freakazoid, Chimpanzee. Rides around in a Freakmobile, Freakazoid, Freakazoo. Hopes to make a movie deal, Freak of me, Freak of you. He's here to save the nation, so stay tuned to this station. If not, we'll be unemployed, Freakazoid, Freakazoid, Freakazoid! Freakazoid!